Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a review on a brand new product from Tarte Cosmetics and it's the new Tarte Prairie Mix Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. So the new Tarte Palette retails for 77 Australian dollars and it has 20 brand new shades. There are actually six unique finishes in this palette and so what I'm going to do I'm going to open up and show you the palette quickly and then I'm actually going to create an eye look I'm actually going out a little bit later on tonight and I wanted to create a makeup look using this brand new palette so this is what it looks like So there are the shades. As you can see, this palette is very exciting. It's kind of a re retake on the original Amazonian clay palettes, except for there are a lot of brand new shades that have a lot of pop to them. For example, there's this really vibrant sea green here and cranberry color. And then you have this really beautiful purple shade. So I love that they've included quite a lot of different finishes, not just colors, but also a lot of different finishes in this palette. There are actually six unique finishes to this palette. There is metallic, there's matte, there's luster, duochrome, there's shimmer, and there's also floating glitter. So there's everything in this palette that you could want. So today, because I'm feeling a little bit adventurous and I want to step out of my comfort zone, I'm going to create, I think, a green smoky eye um, that is still wearable, of course. I'm going out for dinner, so I still want it to be quite wearable. And I'm going to pair that with a nude lip and um, apply a little bit of blush. So I've already ap applied my base and I'll leave the information of what I did for my base down below. And I'm going to get straight into the eyes straight away. But first, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I post a few times a week. And also, um, I'll leave my Instagram down below as well if you would like to follow me there. Okay, so let's get started straight into the eyes. Okay, so I put my hair in a ponytail because I cannot afford to mess around with green eyeshadow. I'm not focused. If my hair is going in my face, it could get messy. <laughs> so I'm going to start off first with the primer and I think it's really important to prime your eyes when you're using especially bold colors um, you want them to last and you want to get the best out of the color as well so I'm just going to use my Urban Decay um, primer which is just the original I like to take my primer right up to the top because that way my eyeshadow will last all day or all night and the mascara won't smudge either. You can also apply a little bit underneath there as well, but I'm not going to. So first I'm just going to apply a little bit of powder to the area that I just primed. I'm just using this palette here which is like a Bobbi Brown face palette and this is a brightening eyeshadow sorry face powder I don't know if you can hear my fan going in the background but it's so hot <laughs> in Sydney right now I'm going to turn it off Okay, so I'm going to first start off with applying the shade Mix Media to my all over my eyelid. Then I'm going to go into Color Explosion, which is that really nice vibrant green. And I'm going to change brushes now. Um, I'm just going to use a brush that has a little bit more density to it so it picks up a lot more color
I'm actually going to just use my fingertip now and apply that all over the lid. I love this shade. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's a little bit messy now because I'm going to blend that all in later with a little bit of a crease shade. So I've done that now. And there is no going back, we are going green. <laughs> so I'm going to use that same green shade and use a smaller brush, like an eyebrow brush, and apply that underneath my lash line. have any fallout of green which you probably will get just use a brush and kind of wipe that away and then later on you can always add more concealer in the crease I want to just define it a little bit and use the matte um, shade in wall art I feel like really bold eyeshadows are back in fashion now and I love that. They're definitely more wearable um, now and if you just wear more of a kind of, if your outfit is a little bit more paired back, like I'm wearing just a black top, you can definitely get away with it and make it more wearable. On top of that green or in the inner corner, I'm going to apply it with my finger the shade Art Deco. Okay, with a smudger brush now, I'm going to apply a little bit of the shade Inspiration. And I love this inner corner shade. Okay, I'm going to apply that same one to my brow bone. Blend it out with your finger. And on the outer corner, I'm just going to create a little bit more definition and, and use the ink shade, which is a matte black. And then get your fluffy brush and just blend. And just to create a little bit of definition on my actual lash line, I'm going to apply Black Ink by Bobbi Brown, which is a long wear eyeliner. And I'm just going to add a little bit of a black line.
Then I'm just going to take the fluffy brush and kind of buff that in there as well. Because I don't want there to be any harsh black lines. Okay, now I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer where any fallout might have occurred. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. <laughs> a small amount to my bottom lash lashes <laughs> okay. so that's my eyes done and I'm going to now just apply a little bit of powder back to my back to my Bobbi Brown face palette and I'm just going to use this brightening shade here Now to create a bit of definition in the face, I'm going to use this, one of my favorites, and you probably see me using this all the time in my videos, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow. And for my cheeks, I'm going to use another Charlotte Tilbury product, and this is Moon Beach. I feel with green eyeshadow. You don't really need to wear too much on your cheeks, but a little bit of color, I think you definitely need so it doesn't wash you out. Um, and something like this is like a very peachy shade, but it still gives your skin a nice glow. And for highlight, I'm gonna go back into the Charlotte Tilbury palette with this gorgeous highlighting shade here. It's like a champagne. And now for the lips, I'm going to just line my lips with a very neutral lip liner. For the lips, I have two shades to choose from. I have L'Oreal Color Reese Shine Beige in the City, which is a really nice shade here i love this formula it has like a gloss to it and really small um, shimmery particles in there so i love this type of shade with with a bold eye and then i also have this new shade from becca and this is part of the chloe and malika collection and this is yours truly so both of these are really nice shades to wear with this type of look I think today, because I do have a lot going on with my eyes, I'm going to stick to kind of like a creamy matte shade. And this is the one, the Yours Truly. Yes, this is the type of shade that I was looking for.
I like that it's peachy and it kind of ties in with the cheeks as well and yeah the guys this is the finished look i hope that you enjoyed this video it was a little bit different because i used a really bold green shadow which i definitely don't do every day so i really like that let me know if you will recreate something similar and i will see you all in the next video bye